there, it's Kristen again with Ministry to Children. We've been talking about some great object lessons that we can do at the start of a school year and how we can use some simple classroom things that can help teach us some important spiritual lessons as well. And so today we're going to talk about an eraser and how an eraser can remind us of Christ's work in our lives and of how our sins can be erased away. So, good morning! So I've given you all something, and today we're going to talk about how that something can remind us of something very important that God does in our lives. So you have a piece of paper in front of you. Now this piece of paper is nice and white and fresh and clean, and I want you to do something on your piece of paper. I want you to, you can draw something, you can write something, you can scribble something, you can do whatever you want on your piece of paper. Ready, go. I'm gonna do it too. And pause. All right, what have you done? You. Your paper looks like it has eyes on it. Cool. Um, oh, pretty. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, excellent. Oh, what lovely pictures. Ooh, I like your person, actually. Excellent. So, my picture didn't turn out so well. It kind of got scribble scrabbly. And so it has a lot of black yucky marks on it, huh? And the paper is not so white and fresh and clean anymore, is it? Well, sometimes this happens. Maybe I might be trying to draw something and I mess up. And so I just scribble and scratch it all out. And then it winds up getting even worse. And it just keeps getting stickier and grayer and yuckier. Oh dear. I don't know what, what should I do? Should I crumple it and start over again? I mean, maybe I could crumple it and start over again. But you know what else I could do is I could turn to a tool that I have. Do you know what this magical thing is? Do you know what this is called? No. Very good. This is called an eraser, and there's something neat about this eraser. See, right now, it's nice and pink and fresh and beautiful. Well, I can take this eraser, and I can try to fix my drawing here. So let's see. If I take my eraser, and I scrub the icky gray splotches away, ooh, something cool is happening. Check this out. So, it's making the gray go away. And as it's making the gray go away, it's turning my paper kind of white again. So maybe if I wanted to fix something or if I wanted to clean it up, I could start over. But you know what else is happening as this paper is turning white again? What's happening to the eraser? You see what happened to the eraser? The eraser is not so pink and fresh, is it? It's kind of turning the eraser black and yucky. And you have an eraser on your pencil too. If you made a mistake, you can turn your pencil around and you can erase it and fix it and start it over. Well, you know that this is what happens with our lives. See, our lives, we might hope that our lives will be nice and white and clean, but the Bible tells us that everybody is born with yucky stuff inside. It's called sin. And sin is what happens when you do bad things. So sometimes you make mistakes, or you don't listen to your mommy and daddy, or you don't listen to your teacher, or you get upset and maybe you pull someone's hair, or maybe you say something mean. Well, that's what happens because our lives are full of sin and bad things. And so we know that even if we want to obey God, we make mistakes and we mess up. And sometimes we do sinful, yucky things, and sometimes our lives start looking pretty messy and we might want to clean it up but we just make it worse because we cannot clean it up by ourselves and we can't get rid of all that icky yucky sin all by ourselves it's impossible we can't just do it but there's something really wonderful that happens that the bible tells us about too because god wants us to be with him and god wants us to have fresh clean lives so god sent jesus to be our eraser and god sent jesus to take all of that icky, yucky sin and to put all of that icky, yucky, gray sin on him instead of on us. Because the Bible also says that when we do bad things like sin, we're supposed to die. That's supposed to be the consequence. But God doesn't want us to die forever. 
So instead, he sent Jesus. And Jesus took on all of our icky, yucky sin so that we could be nice and fresh and clean again. And the really cool thing is that after Jesus took all our icky, yucky sins, he died. And that's kind of sad. But then he came back to life. And he came back to life. And he was nice and clean and beautiful. And because he did that, and because he came back to life, we can have new lives too. And so when we pray, and we read the Bible, and we tell God that we love him, and we understand what Jesus did, our lives can be fresh and new and clean. And then we can live with God every day. Isn't that cool? That's pretty exciting. That's even more exciting than fixing our problems with an eraser. And sometimes we still mess up. Sometimes you might still mess up when you're drawing something, but God is always there, and he's already taking care of it. And he's already always there, willing to help us out again. Isn't that great? Can we say a prayer and we can thank God for that? Dear God, Dear God, thank you for taking our yucky sins. Thank you for taking our yucky sins. Thank you for making us fresh and clean. Thank you for making us fresh and clean. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. We love you, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. In his name. In his name. Amen. Amen. Have fun. Go make disciples.